Hey, hey guys, what's going on? It's awesome to Welcome to Reunition. Now, this is one of the five games I'm playing that are from the Asylum Game Jam of 2015. I am doing this just to get the word out that there is a jam going on. It's going on for at least four days, and do not fret about the other playthroughs I have started. I will finish those like Minecraft and all that. I just wanted to add a little bit of variety to my channel. So, without further ado, let's go. This game is about some dad losing his son in a world of mirrors. Okay, he asked me to take him to the House of Mirrors, alright. And maybe this is going. I wish she would... Well, daughter, maybe? I wish she would be here as well. I don't know. I... Sure thing, son! Whoa. Oh, oh, his wife. Okay. I should have brought him home instead. If I would have read that instead of blabbering, I probably would have understood what was going on here. I don't like those mirrors. Alright. Space is light. Oh. oh, I'm gonna turn that down a bit because that's very loud. Yeah, this was okay. So the mirrors are supposed to be, I guess, possessed, and we gotta follow our son, which shouldn't be that hard. He pretty much ran just straight ahead. And my throat is what? And my throat is like so sore. That's creepy. I don't know what's up with turning off the light. I don't know if it's gonna ever like affect anything. I don't know. I'm doing this because I've actually noticed that uh, some people have been playing a sound game. A sound game jams. What the heck was up with that? Was that too ugly for the mirror? What the? Whoa! Whoa! What? Whoa! I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. What? I don't, I don't, mm, I know it's this one, and I'm going to die again. No? Oh, <laughs> dodge that. Yes! My throat really hurts. What the frick? He's lost in the meal. Come here, Tim. Whoa, who was that? Who was that handsome young lady? Wow, okay, what? What did I just say? <laughs> handsome young lady. Die. I don't think I want to actually. I almost did die there though. I have died a few times in my life. Alright, so what's. Okay, there we go. The frick did the world just generate before my eyes? Oh, I have no reflection in that one. That's kind of weird. Oh. Okay, I have no reflection in any of these. Is there gonna be like a monster pop up in one of these? Okay. I thought that was the chandelier falling down. <laughs> It's just the mirror cracking, because I'm so ugly. <laughs> Moving on to the next game. Alright, so this is the next game. It's called Apart. I think it was like the sixth rating, and if it's not, I apologize. I apologize for the game that was actually the sixth rating. Okay, so apparently we arrive in a forest of despair. Oh, I'm, I'm sprinting. This looks like the freaking uh, whatever the telephone booth from uh, Doctor Who, whatever the frick it's called. I don't, I don't know. Are these things I need to collect because they're highlighting, but I can't pick them up. Anyway. You know this place, don't you? You've been here before. Oh yeah. But do you know this place well enough? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I can see you're already wanting to get out of yes, here. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. How I can see you? Well, I have my ways. Yeah. But if you want to get out of here. Listen carefully. There are five items, and you need to sacrifice them. Wait, what, you what? should know those items. I'm well. not good at this whole but sacrificing thing. Can you repeat that? In this world, time does not exist. Oh my God. And I don't want you to succumb too soon. Oh. Okay, so I need to collect five items. Okay, this is much like Slender's... Do you guys see that? Uh, you guys see that, right? There's a little kid walking around. Yeah, he's getting closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm good. I'm uh, I'm done. I'm I'm out of here. Just gotta find those items. Now this flashlight really sucks. Words of wisdom: Never buy a cheap flashlight from a gas station down the street. 
I'm assuming that's where the kid got it. So I'm hoping there's like certain uh, landmarks. Are you kidding me? I found the end of the map. All right. Okay. I'm assuming there's certain landmarks, and we just gotta follow paths, and we should be fine. I'm seriously getting creeped out because that was a little creepy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know. You know, you know okay. I mean, kids in horror games, it's obvious enough that it's uh, pretty creepy. <laughs> it's just, just gonna put, point that out there, my back is dying. Ooh, a little house. There once was a lady who lived in the shoe. I don't know why that came to my head. <clears throat> Alright, well, hopefully nothing bad happens in this house. <laughs> I found a sock! Mom, I found a sock! My mom actually said what? Yeah, there's some glowing. There's like a, Yeah, okay, there are landmarks. Alright. That's good. I'm gonna run. Even though walking is... Uh, walking... <laughs> walking pretty fast in this game. Uh, let's do miracles. What? Whoa, whoa, what? Well, what in the world, man? So I find... Okay, I thought that tree was floating. So I find a teddy bear landmark. But... I don't understand. The thing I'm confused at is what in the heck is happening to this world? What the fr- Alright. What was this game called again? Apart? <laughs> it should be called freaking uh, Scary Forest Simulator because really, what the heck is going on with this map? It's really cool. It's definitely different. It kind of gives off that dream feel, kind of surreal feeling. Right. Oh! A piece of soap inside of a sock. A piece of soap inside of a sock. I love this story. What the fuck? There <laughs> once was a boy who was in a baseball team. Oh. The team lost the match because of him, which is why they got real mad. After their next training, they all met with a piece of soap inside their socks in the changing room. When the poor guy appeared, they trapped him in a corner. And then, they downright slammed their filled socks down right into the poor trapped boy. <laughs> you know who else is trapped? <laughs> you. No, I'm... I, and this you is probably want range. to know why you're here, don't you? Well, you were lucky enough. No, I like, I like keeping and exactly guessing. Exactly the now. same point. A satanic cult sacrificed someone in the forest. Okay, thanks your for sharing. Sure. And your body are now... <laughs> I you're see what you dead. Did. <laughs> if you're lucky, your body might still be cluelessly wandering around out there. I don't have a body. Well, what? I guess I'm gonna find that girl. You know what? I need to move. I need to move on to another game. Was that the girl? <laughs> Would that life really be worth going back for? Okay. Alright, so that was a part, that was the second game. I have three more games to go. So I'll see you in the next game. Time to move on. Hey, hey, hey guys, okay, welcome back to the next game. It is called Hysteria. Pretty much the premise of the game is a lot like Dungeon Nightmares, uh, except lacking the nightmares. You end up in this deserted dungeon, but apparently you're not trapped down here by yourself. There are other people who are suffering the same problem. I don't know what to expect. I'm assuming it's going to be scary. I cannot see anything. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't see crap in front of me. What's going on here? Is there something following me? I don't know. I don't know the promise of this game. So, that door is locked. What the frick is this? That's a key? <laughs> I mean, no. <clears throat> I mean, psh, yeah, of course. <laughs> what do your keys look like? There we go. That door is unlocked and it is freaking dark down here. It's press K to control other player. Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, what's going on here? That's, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that. That's really cool. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Key found. Right. Dang. Yeah, you, you, you freaking swung a curveball at me. I was not expecting that. 
Do we like actually get to see the other person that we're playing as? You know, you can control the other plane. Alright. But not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shaggy. Ooh. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Whoa. Huh. That's interesting. All right. It's very, it's kind of confusing in a way. It's like really dark. <laughs> like I can't, it's like worse than SCP containment breach. Uh, not SCP, SCP-087-B's uh, view. <sighs> Hello? How are you? My name is Catuela. I do dirty laundry in my uh, I, I clean I clean laundry for you, yes? Yeah. Zayden? I think that was Lucifer himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there something in here with me? What was going on with the static? What's up with the static true? Yeah. That's exactly what I said, yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. There's definitely something else walking out. Definitely creepy sounds. I don't think there's anything really there though. Hopefully. All right, guys. Next game. I gotta cut these videos really short. Nothing's really happening, so. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to another game. This one is called Naked Eye. So apparently there are two chapters. I'm gonna go ahead and start with chapter one. The story said that this place is haunted. A lot of entries, entities, are lurking around. The ghosts appearing everywhere. But the most interesting about this place is everyone who ever entered never came out. That's only a group of student journalists came with an idea of documenting this haunted place to know if the legend was real. This person's obviously not English. Four days later, no group of students ever came back. Vincent, the professor of the students, wants to find out what happened to his students. So we're playing as Professor R. It is too late. Is it too late? I don't know why I said it that way. Can he still sink them? Or should I say, can he survive the entities that can't be seen by the naked eye? Press H for help and get hard. Students, I like the music. Dang. It actually looks pretty darn good. No offense, but uh, it looks better than the past two games I played. Find my camera. You can only see them through the that's pretty cool. That's actually a really cool premise. We walk pretty slow, but eh. The graphics make up for it, I guess. Alright, so running's a little bit better. Okay, so we got to find the camera. I understand. I understand. I understand. What was up with the music? I don't know. Hello, can you go? Okay, 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 sir. You're gonna have to cooperate with me, sir. That's very creepy. That's, wow. This guy likes Slenderman. I wonder if Slenderman's in this game. <laughs> Ooh. Are you a Slenderman? I'm gonna go ahead and keep going straight. Hello? See, si, senor? Oh, there's my camera. I'm gonna be able to see some spookies. Let's pick a battery. Yes, I'll take that battery. Heck yeah! Hello? Is he spoken for us? Oh, um, excuse me. I want my camera back. I want my money back! Find four journals? Oh, found one. Alright, that's one. I'm about pretty sure I, uh... Look everywhere, so... Uh... change the game okay <laughs> all right guys welcome to the fifth and final game it is called the room it's apparently supposed to be very scary it's noticeably pixelated and uh it looks pretty darn good so apparently we got this little detector thing and we have a timer too 
All right, so the thing about this detector is that it, it beeps. Okay, so the thing about this game, I'm, I'm trying to listen to the, to the beeping too, because... Oh, oh no, he's gonna get me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, next room. Alright, so apparently there are ten rooms in this game, and th this detector beeps every t uh, You can't see the enemy, but if you get closer, it just beeps, beeps faster and faster. go. Oh, frick, frick, frick. I'm not dying yet. Uh-uh. Alright. So apparently each room gets more difficult. Uh, it gets harder to find. Oh my god, the thing is really close. I can smell it. Oh my gosh. That's supposed to be very scary. Oh god. This is actually really creeping me out. I don't know, this is kind of, this is kind of tense. I... Whoa, 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 is it open? Ooh. Ooh, this is creepy. Ooh, this is really dark. Ooh, this is, this is, this is dank. I mean... Oh, frick, alright. Alright, come on, find that key. Find that key, stop. Find that key. Ooh! 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 Oh my god, one more time. Dang! Alright. Okay. So, I don't know if... Okay, I don't think they spawn in different areas. Man, that's creepy. Some creepy stuff. Okay, which okay, where was it at in this one? I think it was right here. Yep. Oh, that's close. Oh my god, that just puts me on edge every time it like beeps faster and faster. Oh, it just creeps me out. I forgot where it was at in this one. Yeah, it's right there. Alright. Go away, demon. Go away, spawn. Okay. Where was it at in this one? I think it was. Oh god! <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I haven't, I didn't beat all 10 rooms, but, you know, I got, I got pretty far. If you guys did enjoy all five of those games, I will leave a link to every single one of them in the description below. Alright, so if you guys enjoy, you know what to do, leave a like down below, comment to one more games you want me to play. I think I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm getting strep throat or something. I think that's what the sore is. Uh, comment to one more games you want me to play. Stay awesome, guys. Support, I saw him again. Right there. Peace.